think Matt wants to lose the room. I think Matt actively seeks out losing the room. He likes rubbing people up the wrong way. He's like corduroy. Just likes going against the grain, you know? And Hello? Can you hear me? Hi, guys. This is Martin. Um, right, to sum up Matt Wing, um, I don't know where it all really went wrong for Matt. I mean, he had everything. He was a great footballer, good-looking lad, great little ladies, you know, local DJ. But he just has this desire to rub people up the wrong way. He's like, he's natural corduroy. He just seems to, I don't know, go against the grain every time. And it's not, it's, it's, it's only to be admired, but at the same time, you know, I brought him into the group last year and you know, it's hard to understand how to take him. So I think you guys have really got down, to, you've drilled down on what Matt Wing really is. And it, it, just to be warned, it might only make him stronger because he won't stop. He never stops. Matt Wing last year was the biggest cunt of the entire league. And you know what? We, we all laugh and we all joke and, you know, he all takes the piss. He came 10th. I came 5th. And let's be honest, Matt Wing would be, he would be shithousing, he'd be wing-fencing players. And you know what? It didn't pay him any dividends because despite all of that, he's not a very good fan tracks player. For me, uh, he's in the other division, but I'd love to beat Matt Wing in the playoffs. In fact, me and Matt Wing in the final and I win by a huge amount of points would be the sweetest victory. The thing with Matt Wing is that uh, he followed me shortly after Fantrax was created last season and uh, that was fantastic. You know, everyone followed each other on Twitter after the Hofmeister League Twitter account was created. We all followed each other, it was all in great jest. And then weirdly, around the time that Arsenal beat Man United in the FA Cup last season, that wing unfollowed me, which was strange. Um, because it's nothing to do with fantasy football and I think maybe he's a little bit precious. I've never met the guy but I hate him so yeah I hope he loses every game. He also does, he does propose really ridiculous trades. And he did last year several trades uh, which were just pointless. Look, Matt's a rule breaker, he's a maverick. Think of him as a kind of wheeler dealer but without any of the success. He's a perennial also ran. We're only one year in but we are talking perennial also ran. The guy is, I don't want to say a nobody because he's now the most infamous player in the league but as infamous people go, he's a nobody. He's a prick. Why do you think he's ever hates him so much? Because he's a prick. I've met Matt Wing once. I mean, maybe more times. Once that I remember. I don't know. Uh, he seemed all right, but. I'm, I'm sort of getting the impression he's a cunt. I mean, I'm just sort of... I don't know what it is. It could be every single person slagging him off, but I kind of think he might be up there with Harold Shipman. I don't know. I mean, he's, just, he's just a fa fucking arsehole. And, and if Matt Wing died tomorrow, I'd be I'd be the one hanging up the fucking bunting, and, and I'd, 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 I'd be the one firing the T-shirts out of the cannon with Matt Wing is dead written on them. Basically, I'm going to make Matt do a Google tour of my arsehole. And, and more the power to him, but you know, he's willing to see it through, he's got a commitment to that and I, I can only admire him.